Hallo, herzlich willkommen auf der Produktronika 2015. Hier am EPP-Stand da darf ich Graham Dale äh, begrüßen, Technical Director von Pickering Electronic. Dale, nice to meet you. Welcome to the EPP booth. Um, what, what kind of products uh, or new products is uh, Electronic Pickering uh, presenting this year? Pickering already have the, probably the widest range of low voltage parts for instrumentation. So this last year we've concentrated on the higher voltage end. If you look at relays around 10 kV, the technology of the construction has not really changed a great deal in perhaps 20, 30 years. So what we've done is to use the techniques that, we've, that we have for our smaller relays to use them in these higher voltage parts. For example, we're building them on a, a lead frame in a single line format and we're using our system of formless coils where there's no supporting bobbin. This gives us a bit of extra room to make the device smaller and although they are smaller, um, they've still got the same sort of coil resistance figures and specifications of the larger parts. Um, we've got two styles in these. One, one uh, has um, all the four pins on a single inline format. Another one has flying leads for the coil to keep the high voltage away from the PC board. Um, they're tungsten contacts, so they're quite robust. If we go down in voltage a little bit to the one to, to three kV area, We've got our new series 119, which is the same size as our established 109, which is 3.8 millimeters by 15 millimeters long, very, very tiny part. And that part goes up to 1 kV, and then in similar packages, but with different pin configurations to accommodate those higher voltages, we can go up to 3 kV in a very small part indeed. So that's our new offerings for, for the show. And who are you focusing on with this? As I said, we've already got a very good penetration at the low voltage areas, so we're looking at things like high voltage testing, mixed signal testing, cable testing, transformer testing, perhaps electrostatic discharge testing, perhaps even photovoltaic and medical. But we're extending our range into the high voltage area. So when we talk about more generally uh, about the, the market, what, what is your personal outlook for 2016? I guess we all wish that we had a crystal ball to predict the future, but we, we've done very well in the last couple of years and we're working very hard to, to, for that to continue also. Are there any specific trends or changes that will come? Our quest for, as ever, is for smaller and smaller parts and uh, we've already got some new designs in the pipeline for next year with an even smaller board area than what we're offering now. I won't go any more into that, so watch this space, but we're working hard for the future. Will be exciting to see this. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Thank